Hi, I'm Dr. Massey, and this is Fargo, and today we're going to talk to you about commonly used terms that we use in an exam room when referring to the anatomy of your bird. One of these terms is called the coena. The coena is a slit um, at the top of the roof of the mouth that is an opening between the nasal cavity and the mouth. And what we look for when we're looking at this is we look to see there's something called papillae, which is little projections that come out from that. And we look to see, does it look infected? Does it look swollen? It should have a sharp appearance. This is a demonstration on a chicken, so you can see better with the mouth open, it's at the top of the mouth. And so then inside that slit, it communicates up with the nasal passage. And that, when their mouth is closed, com is communicating with their mouth. The next term is something called the crop. The crop is basically an expansion of the GI tract and it is used for storage of food prior to digestion. It's an essentially an enlarged portion of the esophagus that situates right here on the neck. With birds that are missing feathers, a lot of times after they eat, you will see this as a bulge right above the chest bone. Another term that we use is something called the gizzard. The gizzard is this structure right here. And basically it's a specialized stomach with thick muscular walls that grind the food. It basically acts as like our teeth do um, to break down food and that helps and aids in digestion. So birds have a unique adaptation for flight in that they have many bones that are hollow and air sacs um, that can form air pockets in these semi-hollow semi bones. So in addition to their lungs, they have these air sacs that act basically as a bellows, um, so they don't exchange air like the lung does, um, but because they lack a diaphragm, it helps to pull air through and keep it running through their system and keep air moving through them. Another term that we commonly use is something called a coelom or salomic cavity. In humans, um, what we have is we have a pericardial cavity, which is where our heart and lungs situate, and an abdominal cavity, which is where um, below, beneath the diaphragm. Birds do not have a diaphragm, so instead what they have is a combined um, system in their chest cavity. Will you show us here? So from here all the way down, this is their salomic cavity. So it comprises their lungs, their heart, their liver, their intestines, and reproductive organs, as well as kidneys. Cloaca is another term that we use to uh, talk about the only opening that's used for intestinal, reproductive, and urinary tract. Um, in birds, all of that's excreted out through one opening. So with Fargo, we can show you right here is where the opening is. Um, That's good. Another term that we use is something called the uropygial gland or otherwise known as the preen gland. A lot of bird species have this and it helps to waterproof their feathers and maintain uh, feather quality. On a side note, Amazons do not have this, but a lot of birds do and um, some owners will notice a tuft of feathers coming out. It basically acts as a wick um, to help pull the oils out. And that is located right here on the back. And they oftentimes have a little tuft here and so that is his preen gland. So those are some commonly used terms that we use in the exam room, and that will help you better understand what might be going on with your pet when we're talking about these things. Thank you for tuning in.